How about you, YouTube? Back with the service tech again. Oh, man. Okay, so today for you, we have the BAM box. Um, this is the December box, and the uh, theme for it is legendary. I'm pretty sure. Um, I may be wrong on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's legendary or legend, something something along those lines. I don't remember. I, I lose track of these. Um, I have not seen anybody else do an unboxing, uh, so I, I'm guessing that I'm one of the first ones to get this box. Um, I did receive it earlier today, but I'm just now getting around to shooting this video and posting it for you guys. So, uh, sorry about that little bit of a delay there, but I have no idea what's in this. So, we're going to go ahead and dive right on in. Um, I'm hoping for a better box than last month. Um, I know a lot of people liked last month's theme, and it wasn't the fact that I didn't like it. Uh, I, I wasn't fond of the theme. And even though their box seemed to hit on the theme pretty good, it just it was a miss for me, um, just my personal preferences. Um, again, this is another thin box. So um, I get a feeling this is where BAM box is starting to head, and it's kind of a bummer. Um, I don't know. Um, the Hannibal Mask was a cheap play to me. Um, just a lot of the stuff that they used to do was kind of cheap, but they used to have also good items too, so I kind of hope that they go back to that and they're just not focusing on prints. Um, but, I mean, if that's the case, it is what it is. So, without further ado, we'll dive right into this. And they're back to the new style box where it's all drawn. And you got the Joker up here. Yes. Good old Jack Nicholson, Thor, uh, the Foot Clan, Spider-Man, Hobgoblin, Hulk. So I got a whole bunch of paper here. I'll get rid of that. And then right on top we have the pen, and it says "Winter is coming," and it is the Winter Soldier. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next thing I see on top is this little pouch. I'm not really sure what this little black pouch is. Feels like a nice little pouch. And oh, right on. Right on. Some nice little uh, knives. I'm not what I'm not really sure. These are from an actual uh, story or anything. It says perfect point on them. Stainless steel made in China. They do have a bit of an edge to them. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if these are supposed to be mimicked after a certain comic book or anything like that. Um, not really sure. But, yeah, they are pretty cool. So, as you guys can tell, I'm always down for uh, blades. So, not quite my style, but again, little throwing knives are always a plus. And, let's see if we can get this to focus. No. There we go. Whoa, it's a miracle. Okay, so as I was saying, blades are always a plus for me. It's not quite my style, um, but I'm never going to turn down any kind of blades. Um, I'm always about that. Um, they're probably getting away with these by saying that they're a collector's item as far as like a, a letter opener or something like that. So that's probably how they get away with sending us stuff like that, which is, that's pretty cool. We've never received anything like that before from the band box, so I'm definitely excited about that. Uh, here we got the book, and we'll set that right here so that we don't get any cheats. And right off the get-go, okay, we have Vader Down, Star Wars, Vader Down, comic book. And the certificate back here reads, 
Dynamic Forces Incorporated has issued the certificate of, to authenticate this copy of Star Wars Vader Down Number 1 Dynamic Forces exclusive cover as one of a specialty limited series of 15,000 copies. So that is cool. And it does say up there in the corner, one variant edition. So yeah, that's dope. I definitely dig that. And then we have a Bambox exclusive, Red Sonia. Definitely like me some Red Sonia and some Conan. It's definitely right up my alley. So this is really cool. This is a number zero. Oh, signed edition. This is an actual autograph. It's a signed edition. Amy Chu up there. Let's see here. Uh, Dyn Dynamite Entertainment has issued a certificate of uh, to authenticate that this copy of Red Sonia number zero. BAM Box Exclusive Edition as one of the specialty limited series of copies signed by Amy Chu. It doesn't say an actual number on there like the last one did. Which This one said 15,000 copies. But the actual book itself isn't numbered. Not from what I can tell. So, still awesome. Awesome. I'm already already digging this box. Um, we got two exclusive variant cover uh, comics. We got a pretty kick-ass pen. We got the kick-ass throwing knives. And then, oh, okay, this is dope. I'm definitely going to have to look at the book. So we have a Samurai uh, Boba Fett. It is signed right here by the artist. And that looks like a silver uh, Sharpie marker signature. And I don't know if I can get it, but it is definitely on top of the print, not in the print. So it's not like it's a printed signature, but the print is pretty cool. Uh, I do do love me some Boba Fett. So yeah, that is pretty awesome. Um, my brother is also a huge fan of Samurai, so I don't know that he may try to fight me on that one. And just show you guys, I got one more print here. The last but not least, I'm going to do the box real quick. Got some Iron Man, some Magneto, some Splinter, some pizza. So, yeah. Cool. I like the. <sighs> Sorry about that. I like the new retro uh, comic inside of their uh, box. And then we saw this last month. Um, it's a signed photo of a cosplayer. No offense to whoever she is. I, I'm fairly new to cosplay. But there are so many big name cosplayers out there. Jessica Negri is one. Negri, however you want to say her last name. And there's, I mean, there's a whole bunch of big ones. So, no offense. I mean, she could be a big, famous cosplayer. I personally don't know her. I don't recognize her at all. If I'm going to get something signed of a cosplayer, I'd prefer it to be one of the big names that's out there. Um, other than that, that's just some ordinary person off the street that's signing books. So, I mean, it's kind of like the one we got last month. Um... It kind of feels like a cheap cop out. If you're going to have uh, cosplayers do it, then you need to have big name cosplayers. So that was everything in the book. That's my least favorite item by far. So looks like in here. Oh, are we not doing the one ups anymore? What's up with that? Hmm. Anyways, here's the pins that you could have got. Um, Winter Soldier is definitely my favorite. 
uh, looks like the Vader print. I'm going to go back through these. Uh, there was also a variant black and white copy that only 5,000 were made. This is not that, obviously. Uh, next, we have oh the knives right here. I'm not going to read all this, guys. Um, I'm just browsing through this real quick just to kind of get an idea of what's going on with it. And essentially, these are letter openers, but they are a... Um, <laughs> it's like a defense tool or a, an offensive tool for creating your own legend. So that's kind of cool. Um, I probably would have liked one of the other swords on top. Preferably the very top one. So, oh well, I'm not going to complain. If anybody did get the top one and would like to trade the throwing knives, uh, please hit me up in the comments because I would definitely love to trade. Um, the Samurais. Looks like you got a version with two swords and a version with one sword different poses both of them have color and black and white options both black and white options were 500 each and I could care less which pose I got I think they're both really good prints but I think these prints excel in color so I think they lose a lot out of color so I'm definitely glad I did not get the variant on that. So we'll put that out the way. Uh, next month's theme is going to be anniversary. And then we have the Red Sonia. Okay, it says every cover is hand signed by Ryder Chu and includes a dynamite COA. Look for a special silver signed edition numbered out of 100 and a gold signed edition numbered out of 50. In addition, look for randomly inserted signed incentive covers. I don't think we got anything. Nothing different. Nope, nothing different. It's all the same. At least from what I can tell. So, but, and they don't have pictures of any of the differences either. So, that's it. And then our cosplayer that they featured this month is Sarah Gray, Stargirl, from Legends of Tomorrow. I have not seen that show, so I can't chime in on that oh it's not a cosplayer it's the actual actress from Legends of Tomorrow who played Stargirl, Sarah Gray. Because it says, and so you can imagine how excited we were to have actress Sarah Gray, who plays JSA member Stargirl in Legends of Tomorrow in this month's fan box. She's also going. She's also the uh, the young lady that's going to be in the new Power Rangers movie, playing as Amanda. Hmm. Fancy that. I was. I am staying corrected about that. So there's a little bit more credibility to that print um, as is. 
like I said, I haven't seen Legends of Tomorrow, so I had no idea that's what that was from. So I do apologize. So I do stand corrected on that. So there's that. Um, I retract my original statement. Cool print now. Um, there is some meaning behind it, and it's not just a throwaway item. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So, and then the last thing they're doing is a giveaway. And that is it out of this month's BAM box. And we got some Winter Soldier and some Boba Fett. And then on the front we got some Vader and some Red Sonja. So, yep, that's it. Another quick recap. We got the cool pen, which will go on the board. We got the knives. Pretty cool. Those will go up there with all my other blades. Here's Sarah March. Star Girl and will be Amanda and Power Rangers. We got the number zero signed Red Sonia. The limited run of the um, Boba Fett. And then the variant cover for Vader Down. And that's it. Um, yeah. Um, better box than last month. Still not their best box, but I don't know. If it stays like this, um, fluctuates between this and being a little bit better, then I'll definitely be keeping the band box. Um, I'm, I am happy with this, so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not going to complain. So, that's it for now. Why is this not focusing? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this camera. It's not focusing. So, you guys are just going to have to deal with me out of focus just for another few seconds because I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this. Um, I did get an email saying that something from Loot Crate shipped. I don't know if that's going to be my Loot Crate t-shirt or my actual Loot Crate box, um, but it should be coming. Still expecting a bubble sometime soon. Um, so, I don't know. Should have a couple more videos popping up uh, here within the, uh, the future. So, stay on the lookout for that. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Let me know what you guys thought about this month's spam box. Um, I've been getting some pretty good feedback here lately, so definitely let, let me know what you guys thought. Um, I always enjoy uh, getting a hold of you guys, even though sometimes I'm not um, very quick on the draw on getting back with you guys. I definitely try to when I can. I've uh, just been working a lot and having a lot of stuff going on. But Anyways, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling here get this video posted for you guys so again uh like comment subscribe let me know what you guys thought and as always y'all stay geeky